I'm Sir TapTap, and welcome to Let's Play Softbody, an action video game by Zeke Virat. Um, let's take a quick peek at these options here. Full screen. So this game is a... Uh, it's focused on a dual analog style of control. Um, I'm not sure if keyboard controls for main gameplay are implemented or not, or not yet. This game is still in development. It's a sort of press alpha sort of thing. The right stick doesn't currently do anything. Um, I don't usually show off these uh, pre-release games, but uh, this one looked really interesting, and uh, I think there's... I think it's in solid enough shape to show. So, obviously this just gives us a little overview of the mechanics. Um, a review cap of this game was provided by the developer, obviously since it's unreleased and all that. Um, it's coming to... Oh! I see, that's what the an dual analog is for. Um, so you can move your other... Interesting. Um, it's coming to Windows PC and PlayStation 4 in uh, 2000, early 2016. Ah. Maybe I shouldn't mess with the dual stick controls too much until I figure out what I'm doing here. That is very interesting. I really like the um, the visual style. That's what drew me to the game. Ooh. Pausing intensifies. Interesting. What are those? Pop enemies with my ghost. Ah! So the... The yellow body is the... Is your, uh... Weakness, and the red... Performs in different actions. It's very interesting so far. Let's just pop those. Oop! I guess the red body can still be hit by projectiles. Whoa! Okay, so every time we move it, it shoots. And it spawns some duders. Go in! No, go in! Go in! No. Did I die? No. Okay. I'm not 100% sure what's going on sometimes. Oh. Um. Oh. I'm not sure what happens if we get hit on the yellow, if we, like, just die, or... I'm gonna hopefully avoid that. There are difficulty settings, um... Oop! Yep, we die. We do die. The world is mine. Um, there's a difficulty setting that only applies to soft mode. There's some... There's still some unfinished stuff, um, last I'm aware. I, uh, didn't get to this immediately, so I'm not sure entirely what's changed from the initial email I got. But uh, they said chapter 3 wasn't done. Um, I figured I'd just show the beginning of stuff, and uh, I'm not sure I'll get to chapter 2 unless it's real short. Detach ghost body by moving. Oh. Yeah, I, I noticed that a while ago. I can see how this would be difficult on keyboard. I guess you could do WASD and. Um, uh, what is that? IJKL. You know, that other set of keys that some games use. Actually, wait, is that how it's been? Nah, they haven't implemented keyboard controls at all. I think that's probably possible, though. Um, but yeah, this does feel very much designed with a dual analog in mind. Oh, short little level. Hold R to move slower. Is there a second slower for... No, they both slow at the same time. Okay. Wait, what do... Oh! Interesting. I feel like I've heard that sound effect before. Yes, Parker. I see. You came to interrupt me, as always, didn't you? Who's annoying kitty? Up! Oh. I'm blame that one on you, Parker. Parker, you are obstructing the screen, honey. Parker! Parker. Okay, we've entered difficulty mode 2, where Parker obstructs the majority of the game screen. This makes it a little harder, but uh, it's still possible. Oh no! This game has rapidly moving thingies. That's why he likes it. He loves, um... Oh, we gotta kill all the enemies too. 
Parker. He likes platformers, but anything with like a really flat, fast moving object on a fixed screen, he just absolutely loves. Like, I guess it looks like a fly moving around. Yeah, that was the tutorial, I guess. Uh, so now we're in chapter one. Okay, so we got a flower here. That's nice. You can eat the flower, Parker. I don't think he's gonna get down if I put him down, so he's just gonna... I'm just gonna have to play around, Parker. That's... that's fine. Yes, it is. Yes. Parker. I really like the duality here and the, uh... Dual tasks, like... Parker. Would you, could you sit, sit and watch? That would be far preferable to what you are currently doing. Ah. I don't know how to describe it, but the feeling of the painting is just very satisfying. I'm never sure if that really comes across when you're watching instead of playing, but, uh... Oh, I seriously, Parker is sitting right in the middle left, middle right of the screen. And it's slightly dangerous, honestly. Just a little bit. Parker. We're still doing okay, though. We're still doing okay. I kind of wish I had a face cam at the moment, because I'm ducking and weaving to look around freaking Parker, because he is just... Oops. Insanely in the way. I'm not honestly a big fan of face cam, that's why I've never really bothered with one. I don't really... For one thing, being recorded is already a bit stressful for me. Um, I have no idea why I like doing Let's Plays, because that... Oh, Parker, seriously, I, I can't beat this while you're in the way, honey. There you go. Good boy. Yes. Um... Yes, I know. You're just gonna jump right back up, aren't you? Yes, he, he did exactly that. Okay. See, this is the true hard mode. The the hard mode in the settings is for wimps. The your cat gets in the way constantly, that is the true hard mode. The, the feeling of movement is so fluid. This is one of those games where you really need that, you know, um, really perfect performance. I'm sure it's fairly easy to deliver it in a game like this, but... Uh, I almost want to lock this to 30 just to see how much worse it feels, because it... I'm really liking how this feels, and it's, um... Parky. Parky! There we go. Reminds me, not exactly related, but, um... Bullet Heaven 2! Uh-oh. Laser guns? I thought they were going to be like instant death, but that would be rude. Considering we can't seem to avoid these actually until they fire. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, speaking of smooth, um, Bullet Heaven 2 came out on Steam. Well, no, it's not out on Steam yet. Um, I got early access to the Steam version and uh, it's so much smoother just because they're these tiny little micro stutters that Flash in a browser has because... Uh, Browsers, you know, do more than just play games, so, uh, Flash isn't, you know, completely dedicated, uh, resource-wise like it is in a game. Um, and it really makes a really big difference. I can't really go back to the browser version anymore. The browser version is good, but once you feel that feeling of smoothness, you just, you just can't go back. Ah! I was kind of hoping the colors would change up or something. Um, I really do love, I still love the uh, visual style, but um, it's kind of reminding me of um, N++ and the, um, I really love the color changing in that. It really adds a lot to, oh, we've got two thingies. All right, let's get the easy one first. Oop. Oh, what the? Oh, whoop, boop, 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 boop. go away, let's kill that. Oh, they aim at your thing. They aim at your red... Oh. No, they just aim at whatever's closest, I guess. Alright, I see. We gotta... Ah. 
getting sort of complicated over here. I like it, though. Alright, we gotta kill that. No! I said we gotta kill that. There we go. That's something I think these... Th um, I really do enjoy flat design, and um, that's something it really excels in, I think, in uh, is uh, being able to just swap palettes and keep everything look really looking really good. Um, N++, like I said earlier, amazing example of what you can do with just some palette changes. And even, um, oops, um, Super Mario World hacks, like, I was really impressed with what a lot of those Super Mario World hacks could do. Just editing, if you just take the tiles from Super Mario World itself and just, you know, do some good um, palette editing work, you could do some really cool stuff with that and make it feel really fresh. Oh goodness. This is like that, um, you know that thing where you, that trick where you have to hold, or you rub your belly and pat your knee or something? It's like, doing the one thing really screws up your ability to do the other. You, you kind of get used to it, but at first it's super weird. Oh. For a second I thought that was gonna like erase our uh, bullets, but, er, not bullets. Our, uh, the paint. I guess it doesn't. Ah. We got multiple layers. <laughs> Crap. I do like the emergent complexity of levels where, like, um, or I guess it's not entirely emergent. Whatever, that's close enough. Um, like, Something looks simple, and then it turns out there's another layer to the level, and there's no visual cue until it happens. Kind of neat. Keeps you on your toes. <laughs> um, you might not hear this if you are um, if you're not using headphones, but I'm using headphones, and uh, they get really creative with the left and right channels with uh, when that thing is zipping around. It goes really. Feels very whooshy. It's pretty neat. Oh, oh! I see. Not on a fixed screen anymore. Oh, another game that does the. Uh, I was talking about palettes and flat design earlier. Another game that does that really well is um, Futuridium Deluxe. Um, it's also got a very flat. It's actually 3D, but uh, it's a very flat style. Eh? Oh, oh! This. Oh, right, right. Dangerous. Oof. There we go. Okay. 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 Ah! My mic is now getting in the way more than Parker. Parker's sitting and being very nice, aren't you, Parky? Ah! You need to. I forgot. You can slow down. I should have slowed down there. I guess that's because this one is easy to do without moving, and the other one isn't. What are, what is launching those homing rockets? Oh, it's right. It's the the. Uh, you know what? Let's finish this one first. Parker, Parker, don't sit up. Not now, Parky. so bad at this level. Alright, let's go. Let's go. I'm not sure that circle... I guess that circle is the range of that thingy. Alright, right. Slow down. You just gotta use the... Ugh. Come on. Keep going. Alright, that's much easier. Okay, that's how you're supposed to do it. Just hide like a little baby. That's how you handle life, you just hide like a baby. Oh! That wasn't really- 
Why am I so bad at this one single level? Apparently this game can get difficult when it wants to. So alright, let's do this first again. So that, that was a little embarrassing. Still alive. Parker is so interested in this. This change his interest is very bad for my health. Ah! You move so fast. Alright. Maybe I'll stop after this level. I'm getting real bad real fast. I really love what's going on here though. Gone. Uh, what? Uh, this game is pretty much all about like multitasking. You know, you really have to keep an eye on both of your things. So otherwise, some stuff can really catch you by surprise. I'm really glad that the red thing being hit does not kill you. That would be even way more awful. Than I currently am. Alright, alright. We can beat a single level in a video game. We can do that. We can do things if we set our mind to them. We, we truly can. We can do this, friends. We can do this! Yes! Mm. Alright. We didn't quite paint everything, though. There we go. Okay. We can beat a level. Knowledge is power. Ooh. Are these death? Yes, they are. It's so encouraging that says the world is yours after your untimely demise. Alright. What does this do? Can I kill the black things? No. Parker? See, it's really nice pacing and it's uh, introducing new elements too. It's something I really like in puzzly games. Um, just, you know, introducing pretty much a new mechanic every level and, you know, just escalating constantly. It's pretty much how they're meant to be done. We got some funky music they're playing for us. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, we're safe. Yay. Spin! Spin to win. Hmm. I guess I'm going back on my quitting after that one level. We'll do a few more. Uh oh, we gotta get in there. We gotta get in this. We in this? Yes! I really like how short stuff is, too. Because even if you... What was that? Why can't I touch that? I don't understand. Oh, there's death in them! Okay. Why are you full of death? Why are you... Your enemies now? Why... Why are... Why do they turn yellow if they're enemies? I thought yellow was the good color. Whatever. Let's just murder it. When in doubt, murder everything. It always helps. It really does. I love that ramp up sound when it really gets you going. Big slash two snakes. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. They got things. Things are happening. I don't like things. Things hurt people. Okay. Okay. Murder you. Blarg. Blarg! No! Alright, let's just... Ah! Okay. First things first, let's murder all of these. 
And murder that, and murder that. So much murder to do, even in a puzzle game. Would you call this a puzzle game or an action game? I guess it doesn't matter. It's, it can be both. No need to be formalist. Okay, okay. Now we got two of these jerk ass things that shoot at you while you unravel them or whatever. Ooh! The one stray bullet. Damn it. Really, the trick with these is to just not trigger it while it would aim at you, at the yellow you. The red you is fine to aim at. Okay, that's one solved. Oh god! There you go. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. I forgot they did that. It's getting us some really cool stuff. Boop, 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 boop. Except for the part where it kills me. I don't like that part. Oh, who am I kidding? That's... That's part of every game. Well, not every game, but whoa. It's not a puzzle game without difficulty. Oh, there you go! They did the thing! I said it should do the thing, and it did the thing. Oh man, this color scheme is reminding me... ...of, uh... Oh, Pixel Junk Eden! I have no idea what is going on anymore. Um... But my snakes are the same color now. It's also reminding me, um... It also reminds me of Everyday Shooter. Woo! Oh no! What? Oh. We're like blood clots or something. But yeah, this reminds me a lot of Everyday Shooter. The These enemies in particular and the color scheme. But the color scheme is also very... Oh, now it feels a little flowy with this eating bits off the snake thingy. Um, I'm so glad it changed colors though, and I'm so glad I didn't quit before it changed colors. Because I was waiting for it to change colors, and I didn't know that it did, but uh, I had the feeling that it was just perfect for that to do. Um, whoa, 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 whoa! Excuse me? Interesting. Oh! What is this? You got some tricks up my s or your sleeve, huh, game? Now I'm getting expand vibe. I'm just naming random games, honestly, at this point. It's just every game in one. That's what this is. This is every game. We're spinning thread, I guess? Oh, man. This is why I never know when to leave games, because, I mean, what if I had quit after that one level, and I had absolutely no idea that all of this was in here? This really does remind me of Expand in a good way, though. Wait, there's no bad way to remind me of Expand. If you haven't seen my video of Expand, um, ignore the video and just go play the game. Uh, it's really cool. It um, It's really hard to describe, but it, it just does so many really cool things with itself. And um, it has this sort of emergent gameplay where, like, um, I keep, I'm using that term differently than people usually use it, but, like, uh, there's a bunch of different layers of gameplay that the game sort of hides and reveals as you go on. Chapter 2! Okay. Um, chapters are apparently a pretty big deal. Um, now I'm sad that I can't play Chapter 3. Um, oh, it's the flower again. Hello, me. What's going on? I'm so glad the color thing- oh man, this is the dangerous sort of thing though. Um, if people, like, only played the first, like, 15 minutes, they would get a very different impression of what I'm getting now. So like I said, the game is a work in progress, so this chapter 2 intro here didn't actually work for me. So, uh, the developer's kind enough to provide a video of it working, so this is actually the first time I've seen what we're doing here. So we just totally 
different gameplay going on here, I guess. I'm playing a little mini game of Snake. Huh. That's interesting, because the movement of the character reminds me of Snake, but the actual gameplay really doesn't at all. So this is... So the whole intro is playable. That's really cool. That's not really what I expected out of it. Oh. I guess it's over. All things thanking us. So we're back to normal gameplay. Okay. Well, we'll call that a video and we'll take a look at chapter two later.